Hello again. Um, another month or so has gone by. And I finally got this latest idea out of my head, which was uh, to basically uh, find out what the flight sound wave unit would do to a hurdy gurdy. So, this it looks like a wren, but it's not. It's actually more like a hummingbird in that it's got a much smaller four and a half inch wheel. Um, so, it's, it's got that bit of quietness and zoom friendliness about it as well. Uh, it just looks looks like a wren uh, but the dimensions are very smaller all around okay so it's uh, it's in usual d um, with uh, d ch uh, d drones um, i haven't fitted a g ch drone and there isn't really room it was a bit of a bit of a squeeze on the last one so uh, i've actually fitted a capo here to take that low d drone up to g which works fine and saves you having an extra machine up there and there isn't room for it. Anyway, the main reason for making it, as I said, was to fit this uh, this flight sound wave thing. They're fitting them to ukuleles. You can see the thing there, uh, this little unit. Turn it on. And now, without plugging into any kind of amplifier, we've got it set with uh, what, a bit of delay, reverb and a bit of chorus as well. And this is what it sort of does. It's weird. <laughs> Clever. Um, you can set the speed of the delay. You can play for hours with the, you know, with all the gadgets, um, and it's it's just so that it's essentially it's still an acoustic instrument. It's not plugged in anywhere. So that's it with it on, and I'll just turn it off and play the same sort of thing. I mean, it sounds great anyway because it's one of mine, but th I just think that the. Uh, but this flight sound wave thing, it's, it's, it's a very interesting toy and adds a certain dimension to the sound. So that's, that's what I've got at the moment. Flight sound wave. It's great. I like it.